Hi, Udaked friends. This is Andy. Uh, back, had to take some time away from the forum for a little bit, um, but excited to uh, get back involved and see what's been going on. I uh, also have been uh, back at it with uh, making some new boxes. I have about 10 total boxes left um, and um, built out a few so far. Uh, once these 10 are gone, they're gone. Um, the manufacturer of the actual box that I build these in no longer makes this box and I don't have it in me to actually create a brand new template for another box. Um, so wanted to, um, I know these are popular, I wanted to make sure that anyone who still needs one was able to get one. I'll be putting them um, uh, up online, that's where you'll see this video, and you can uh, grab one if you want. You can take a peek, some of the changes that I've made are pretty cool, uh, nothing major, but um, just turn this on. Um, so on your left is one of the newest, the newer boxes. You'll see I made just a couple edits with the uh, main one being the top uh, here. It's a little bit clearer than what I was using before. I don't know. I just think it's nicer to be able to see uh, the the wiring underneath, um, just the, um, the square wire. So I think that's pretty cool. So change that uh, also around the back. Um, Turn this off for a second. Around the back, uh, I made a small edit, whereas before I had kind of like a flush sort of hole. This is really hard to do actually because it's, and it's not also not 100% as secure as what I'm about to show you, but uh, the only way to really get that to, to stay in there is you kind of use like a, use a wrench and really kind of like crank it until it's, uh, it sits right into the threads, but um, there's nothing holding it in from the other side. I mean, it's really, really tight, so it's not going anywhere on those old boxes, but I thought it'd be better to actually have something grabbing it from the other side, so I did what we call like a countersunk hold. So I countersunk it in there a little bit, and that way, on the other side, there's a nut that's actually grabbing that and holding it into place. So easier for me to do, also maybe more secure. I don't know if um, there's anything that a human could be doing that would make this come out, but for what it's worth, I think that's a little bit more secure. Um, other than that, um, some things that you can't see that I made edits on were uh, within the inside of the box, so where the negative and positive terminals meet. Um, the, the posts here, I uh, actually took, um, threaded the wire before I soldered it, so um, it's just, again, everything, all the edits that I made are just for a stronger connection so that these things can last, like, years. Um, of the, like, I don't know, 15 or 20 boxes that were sold last year, I haven't had one come back. Um, I have people telling me that they run them 24-7, so, and I mean, I run mine pretty much all day, so, um, yeah, for me, it's just the most important thing is just making sure that all the soldering, all the connections are going to be uh, there for years. Oh, I also, if, I don't know if you can see this, but... That's a, a one last edit. I the actual silver mica is really hard. Um, it just I don't know. And I tried to make it so it hits the gaps a little bit better. So you know I don't know. You can kind of see that there's like a little bit of a gap there. So I just paid more attention to like this. You see this bends a little bit. This ain't going nowhere. So anyway, uh, let me know if you'd like a box. Happy to help you out and um, um, happy ooding. Okay, bye.